In this video, we show you how to use an interactive console session in PyCharm. This can be useful to quickly execute and test a few instructions, to console to build in help, or to test some source code from the editor. Make sure that a Python console window is visible. If this is not the case, you can click on the Python console tab in the lower left hand corner of the screen to make it visible. Here we will demonstrate three features of the interactive mode. The first one is executing and testing a number of instructions. We enter the consecutive instructions in the console and Python will execute them one by one. For example, the first variable m is given the value 12. We print this value. We create a second variable, n, and assign the value 25 to it. Now we print the sum of both variables. As you can see, each instruction is executed immediately and the result is sent to the console. An interactive console session can also be used for consulting the built-in help. For example, we want to call the help function for the built-in function print. How will we do this? We type the word help with the function to be consulted between round brackets. We get the full syntax of this function, the description of what the function does, and in this case, the description of all optional keyword arguments. A second example, we want to call on the help for the sinus function from the math module. We first import this module into the interactive session, and now we call the help function for the sinus function. Again, we get the syntax of the function, followed by the description and any keyword arguments. In this case, we see that the sinus function also returns a value, which was not the case in the print example. A third feature of an interactive console is to quickly run and test some source code from the editor. This code may be a complete program or part of an existing script. In that case, select the code to be executed. On the context menu of the selection, choose Execute Selection in Console and the selected script will be run immediately and display any results. So we give an integer we give a second integer and the sum of both is printed. However, in an interactive console you can also type some program codes yourself. Once this program code is entered, it will be executed immediately and the results will be displayed. If you want to repeat earlier instructions from this console session at any time, you can use the up and down arrow key to scroll through the history of commands and execute the required ones. This is the end of this video session. Here we have demonstrated how to quickly evaluate a number of individual instructions in a Python console how to use the built-in help and how to quickly test some source code from the editor.